Elizabeth Line, also known as Crossrail, took over 13 years to build with a price tag of over £21 billion. It changed the way people transported from one part of London to the other. Instead of spending 10 minutes getting from Whitechapel to Canary Wharf, the time changed to just above 2 minutes with the brand new line. Now TfL is consulting with professionals on a plan for a brand new line, for now referred to as Crossrail 2, which would run from north to south. Let me explain this map. This is South Quay. On Crossrail 2's official website, you can find a colour-coded map of the proposed train line. Tottenham Court Road, which you could say would be considered the centre of the Elizabeth Line, is the only station which would connect with Crossrail 2. Perhaps hence the name, as the two maps conjoined look like a cross in the form of a rail map. You may also notice purple, pink, orange, green and striped green colour-coded sections of the map within London. These are proposed additional stations and routes. The four are Turnpike Lane in between Seven Sisters and Alexandra Palace or Woodgreen Underground Station. There is also a potential extra branch of the line to Hackney Central and beyond. Next is an old proposed route via Tooting Broadway between Clapham Junction and Wimbledon but the newly proposed option is via Balham so it is more likely the Balham will be the go-to option. The first branch you will see on the south side of the map is a branch to Shepperton. The next is down to Hampton Court. Following is the Chessington South. And the last one is to Epsom. On the north side of the map are two branches, one going up to Broxbourne and the other to New Southgate. Beyond that will be a tunnelled section for depot and stabling. The other depot and stabling section is after Wimbledon. You may also notice that some of the stations on the map do not have any connection to them, meaning that they do not exist. These will be newly built stations which will probably rise the cost of building the train if they ever started. Now construction was actually supposed to begin in the early 2020s, but clearly it hasn't. But there still might be some chance that they will. The cost of the construction of this line will probably be twice as much as the Elizabeth line, if not more. There will be more about Crossrail 2 in other upcoming videos. So please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to know when I post the next video.